Portfolio managers constantly first make broad asset allocation choices and then progressively focus on the detailed security investment in the portfolio. Portfolio managers can add value to their investor in either two ways. First, demonstrating superior timing skill by allocating funds to different asset classes. Second, selecting superior securities. Superior investment performance depends on an ability to be in the right securities at the right time. In this video, we are going to learn a specific performance attribution analysis, which involves evaluating how funds are allocated between asset classes and the performance within each asset classes as compared with a benchmark portfolio. This analysis enables one to determine the overall adequacy of the performance and how it was produced. Let's learn together! What is performance attribution analysis? It is an attempt to ascertain which decisions resulted in superior or inferior performance. According to Bodhi, Kane and Marcus, Performance attribution studies attempt to decompose overall performance into discrete components that may be identified with a particular level of the portfolio selection process. Performance attribution analysis attempts to distinguish which of these factors is the source of the portfolio's overall performance. Access return of a portfolio can come from either asset allocation or security selection. A portfolio manager's total value added performance is the sum of the allocation and selection effects. The performance attribution analysis compares the manager's total return to the return of a predetermined benchmark portfolio and the difference is decomposed into allocation and selection effect. Let's consider an example in which a portfolio manager's top-down portfolio strategy consists of two dimensions. First, he decides on a broad allocation across three asset classes, equity, fixed income, and cash. As an asset allocation policy, he constructed a portfolio with 70% of the fund in equity, 7% in fixed income, and 23% in cash. The FTSE 100, UK corporate bond index, and money market rate are used as benchmark. The weights of each benchmark is determined from the relative size of each market in the country. We are going to answer two questions. First, how is the portfolio compared to the bulgy or benchmark? Second, to what can the performance of the portfolio be attributed? PW stands for portfolio weight, PR stands for portfolio return, BW stands for benchmark weight, and BR stands for benchmark return. First, we create four additional columns here by multiplying the respective column together. For example, PW times PR is 0 0.7 times 7.28%. Here, BW times PR is benchmark weight times portfolio return, which is 0 0.5 times 7.28. After that, I sum all the values in each column together. Assess return over benchmark is the portfolio return minus benchmark return, which is 6.15% minus 5.33%. This means the portfolio outperformed the benchmark by 0.82%. Contribution of asset allocation is obtained by comparing the portfolio weight with benchmark weight, assuming a fixed benchmark return. So we take 5.02% minus 5.33%. Contribution of security selection is obtained by comparing the portfolio return with benchmark return, 
assuming a fixed portfolio rate. Therefore, we take 6.15% minus 5.02%. Finally, the total contribution is the summation of contribution of asset allocation and contribution of security selection. Take note that this value is the same as the answer here. Method 2 is slightly different in calculation, but the answers are the same. Differential return here is the portfolio return minus the benchmark return. Differential weight is the portfolio weight minus the benchmark weight. The contribution of security selection is obtained by multiplying differential return with portfolio weight. Then we add these three values together to obtain contribution of security selection. The contribution of asset allocation is obtained by multiplying differential weights with benchmark return. After that, we add the three values here together to obtain contribution of asset allocation. The working for this part is the same as method one. I have also typed the answer manually for you. However, using Excel spreadsheet is easier. This slide is for your reference. From the performance attribution analysis, we can conclude that the performance of the portfolio was due to superior security selection. However, the asset allocation strategy is poor. Overall, the portfolio still managed to outperform the benchmark. I hope you have learned something from this video. See you and goodbye.